Pyrogenesis Canada would like to introduce its patented plasma resource recovery system, the PRRS, which can convert virtually any type of waste into energy and other useful products. This revolutionary technology is not incineration, but is in fact a gasification and vitrification technology that can meet most of the stringent environmental regulations while at the same time creating valuable materials without any hazardous byproducts. Here's how it works. Garbage trucks transfer the waste into a storage pit. A conveyor feeds the waste to a shredder where it is cut into small pieces. The shredded waste is then conveyed to a patented high-temperature plasma reactor. Hazardous and medical wastes which cannot be shredded are fed separately to the plasma reactor using a dedicated feeder, while liquid wastes are pumped directly into it. Solid graphite electrodes are used to generate plasma arcs inside the plasma reactor. The plasma arcs generate extreme temperatures and allow the treatment of virtually any type of waste. In the plasma reactor, operating at more than 1600 degrees Celsius, glass, metal and ceramics are melted away while organic matter such as paper, plastics and cardboard are converted to a fuel gas. The molten material from the plasma reactor is extracted through two separate tap holes. Metal oxides exit the plasma reactor through the top tap hole as slag. Once cooled, this slag will form inert glassy rocks which can be used safely as construction material. The molten metal is removed separately from the slag using the lower right tap hole since it is more dense to form reusable metal ingots. The fuel gas produced in the plasma reactor exits through a side port and enters the patented eductor. The eductor is used as a polishing step. A 5000 degrees Celsius plasma plume is used to destroy any contaminants in the fuel gas. If we take a moment to see what is happening on a molecular scale inside the eductor, contaminants such as soot and tars are broken apart by the highly reactive plasma. These molecules then recombine into their most simple form. In this instance, the complex hydrocarbons transform into carbon monoxide and hydrogen, or syngas. At the exit of the eductor, the fuel gas is cooled instantaneously by a water quench to avoid the possible formation of dioxins and furans. The fuel gas then goes through a series of filters used to clean the gas. A Venturi scrubber removes fine particulates. A scrubber neutralizes acid gases. An absorption tower removes sulfurous components. A high-efficiency filter removes any remaining heavy metals. A large fan forces the gas into a bank of engines used to generate combined heat and power. The electric power produced is used to power the plasma system, while the excess power produced can be sold back to the power grid. In summary, the environmentally friendly, easy to operate plasma resource recovery system safely and efficiently converts both hazardous and non-hazardous waste into energy, metal ingots and construction material and has essentially revolutionized the way the world thinks of waste.